Have it all at the Cherry Creek Arts Festival. This podcast is brought to you by Denver 7. Steve Mitch, it's going to be a great weekend and a great Friday for the Cherry Creek Arts Festival. Bring and it on. We like it. Yes. As Lisa mentioned, it is going on this weekend, the Cherry Creek Arts Festival. And I love really this festival because it really brings together a diverse group of artists. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a huge amount of people to come. That Every type of person, every kind of artist is out there, young and old. Before the break, we showed you this piece by Marie Vlasic. Her personal style portrays the urban culture here in Denver. From the tattoo parlor to everyday moments, the art festival has taken notice, and she is the only established Colorado painter juried into the festival two years running. And Marie Velasic joins us this morning. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Early. Uh, yes. uh, <laughs> <laughs> very, very yeah, early. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, first of all, we should probably explain uh, how big a deal this is. To, to remind the folks what it means to be juried into this process. Well, it's extremely competitive. I, I think there was approximately 2,400 uh, people trying to get into the show and uh, see we had 14 from Colorado a total of about 230 got in wow. so, so it's it's less than 10 percent actually get into the festival that says a lot about your in. work yeah it's, congratulations it's, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Big awesome. congratulations. I'm really honored to, to have been selected especially two years I'm still a little a little shocked okay so where do you get your ideas from uh, mainly people. I, I love people. I love to, to watch expressions and just watch the mo everyday moments go by and just kind of capture that on a canvas, little slice of the city, slice of life. In a couple of these, when we, we, we got some, we have some we're showing now, when you first glanced at them, when I did, I thought, oh, this is a photograph. Like, no, that's, and the detail is so vivid. Um, some can be kind of edgy. But there's, you find some beauty in all that kind of that urban life yes. and some of the edginess, don't you? Yes, that's that's kind of my forte. Uh, I love your everyday people. I mean, celebrities are marvelous, and I'd certainly be happy to paint one if they wanted me to. But I, I love to find the interesting-looking person, the person with you know, really interesting tattoos and piercings, and you know, just you know, your average everyday people you see on the street that I find fascinating. You'd be fun to go people watching with. Yeah. Because you'd pick out the best, wouldn't you? Come on down, we'll go. <laughs> I'm sure there's a story really behind each painting. Can you tell us what you were thinking? here and where you were at, do you remember? Uh, this was uh, actually an, an, another local artist named Paul Mochelle, and this was a photograph somebody else took, and I just absolutely fell in love with the image. His expression, uh, the angle, I thought it was absolutely wonderful, and I had to paint it. And speaking of uh, had to paint, you painted one just last night, and uh, just Jason finished. is assisting this by <laughs> holding this up very carefully so he doesn't get uh, paint on him. And there, look at that. When, when I say it, it looks like a beautiful. photograph. See, that's an that's a oil painting. Tell us it about is. this one. It is. Thank you. I actually took this one at a local restaurant on a chilly Sunday morning with everybody waiting to hungrily waiting to have brunch, including me, while I was waiting for my seat. I uh, clipped this shot, and I just love the expressions that I, I captured. And yes, I finished it at 10 o'clock last night. And when you <laughs> capture these photos. Are you doing this in your mind or do you take an actual photograph? I am taking I mean, actual yeah. photographs. So okay. this way you remember the exact image of what you saw that yes. day that, yes. that really caught your eye. So I know this piece you mentioned, it took you a month. Just about. That takes a lot of patience. You must really obviously love what you do. I, do. I mean, what keeps you going? Uh, just the creation process. It's I can't do anything else. This is this is my life. It's it's absolutely what I live for, and just watching the painting develop as I'm working on it uh, just excites me and keeps me going. I can't wait to you know keep keep developing it and keep adding more see detail. See what comes out. Yeah. All those wrinkles, little human frailties yes. that come out. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't wait to see the rest of your work uh, come you. this weekend at thank the you. at the Arts Fest. Uh, congratulations once again. And thank you. Thanks for coming in so early to be here. Oh, share my with pleasure. Us. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for allowing yeah. me to. Be here. Yeah, well, Marie, Marie Vlasic, you can uh, see her work and, of course, many, many other artists. This weekend's Arts Festival in Cherry Creek North Shopping District. It runs Friday through Sunday. Again, Denver 7 is a proud sponsor, so we hope you come out. We'll be out there. If you want more information, you can go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. Just click on the little icon for the Cherry Creek Arts Fest. It's on the left-hand side of the screen. Oh, Take the always, whole family out. It's always a lot of fun. Have it all at the Cherry Creek Arts Festival. This podcast is brought to you by Denver 7.